Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome back with Brother Steve within the work. Brothers and sisters, I'm so thankful to be back in front of you to bring another video, another poignant uh, message today. And I pray that this message here will resonate with y'all in this hour. Uh, before I proceed, I just want to say uh, bless you, bless your families, your children, your households. And uh, well, you already know what we're gonna, you know, what we're gonna do here on this channel. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hit, hit some scriptures. And we're gonna talk about a couple things. Uh, for all the new brothers and sisters uh, to this channel, thank you for for joining this family. Uh, it, it's an honor. It's a privilege, and I'm truly thankful for an opportunity uh, to come to you in this hour. Um, also, too, I want to thank every single one of you who have uh, been supporting this channel, supporting this work, and allowing me an opportunity uh, to speak. Uh, there are many of those out there in this hour uh, who are waiting. Uh, they're waiting for a word. Uh, they're waiting for people like myself and like you to be utilized to reach them. They are praying, and, and I pray that the Most High God, Ahaya, Bashim Yeshaya, our Lord and Savior Yeshaya, Christ Jesus, uh, send them along this way to this channel. Uh, if it don't be my channel, hopefully uh, they'll be sent uh, in a direction uh, towards another brother or sister's channel that will, will be used to uh, bring the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Yeshia Christ Jesus. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, we must continue to keep our hands to the plow. Um, the work ain't finished. And although we see everything going on out there in the earth today, uh, hey, listen, uh, we are covered under the blood. Uh, it's through the grace of the Most High uh, that we are here in this hour. Uh, we are very, very fortunate. And, um, you know, uh, we can't take advantage of, of the grace that the Most High is, is pouring out. So I just want to thank every single one of you uh, for all the new brothers and sisters that, are, that have joined this family. Uh, uh, hey, you know, let's let's uh, continue to do the work and uh, let's build with one another. Uh, before I uh, proceed, just want to give a, a couple of shout outs real quick here. Um, a couple of the channels out there. I see a lot of you brothers and, and sisters out there uh, working on your channels. I just want to, you know, give you all a, uh, a commence, if you will. I want to tell you all to keep grinding, keep working. Keep speaking life into your channels, okay? You know, stay patient, keep working, keep doing the work for the Most High. Stay faithful, all right? All right. Uh, the next thing, brothers and sisters, is I want to thank uh, every single one of you that have sent uh, questions. Uh, thank you for your patience and allowing me the opportunity to reply back. Uh, brothers and sisters, I've been extremely, extremely uh, uh, busy you know, in the secular world, uh, <laughs> doing uh, cartwheels and flips, okay? Y'all know how it is. Um, anytime I get the opportunity to come to YouTube, uh, it's it's to do the most highest work. Uh, this is his channel. Uh, uh, this, is, this is Christ's channel, and uh, it is what it is. So... Brother Steve is going to keep his hands in the plow and continue to do the work in my own capacity. All right. Well, brothers and sisters, I um, I had somebody reach out to me. Uh, somebody reached out to me, uh, 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 a brother concerning uh, a couple couple things, and essentially he had a question. Uh, uh, his question was regarding uh, temptation. Temptation, okay? And essentially, he was concerned with uh, being drawn back in uh, to some of his uh, ills, if you will. And, uh, you know, I replied back. And uh, I told him that I would be constructing uh, a video for him. So, brother, this is for you and for anybody else that perhaps may be uh, struggling uh, with certain uh, uh, ills or, or sins, 
I just want to uh, bring edification to build you up. Now, this won't be a spirit of condemnation. There is no spirit, spirit of condemnation for those that are in Christ. But understanding the seriousness of uh, our shortcomings, uh, we must continue to address and uh, deal with, okay? Uh, and in dealing with those ills and, and sin, that's the nature of being in a fallen world and in the flesh, our carnal flesh. We must uh, come to the inevitable, uh, that it is inevitable at times uh, you may find yourself in situations where uh, you may not make a sound decision, okay? So I'm not here to uh, condemn you. I'm here to build you up. Uh, there is hope. Uh, there is grace. Uh, we have promises. We are children of the Most High God, Ahaya. Uh, it's our Lord and Savior, Yeshaya, uh, who's, uh, who has brought fire. He has uh, uh, spilled blood. He has ascended. And uh, uh, he is our Savior. Uh, he is our Deliverer. He is our Avenger. He is our Advocate. Uh, he is our Healer, uh, Yeshaya, Christ Jesus. Uh, Yeshaya. And I want y'all to understand that. So, brother, if you out there listen, I want you to be compelled, okay? I want you to be convicted. I, I want you to continue to pray and allow the Holy Spirit will walk to help you. Uh, wisdom knoweth her children. And I want you to understand that you're, you're not in this by yourselves. Brother Steve has constructed this video for you and others. And, um, uh, as I minister and, and exhort and build with you, uh, this also applies to me. Uh, we are all in this together. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, without further ado, what i like to do is get into the video. So I've titled this video, brothers and sisters, and I've titled this Testing Through Temptation. Keep your eyes open. Once again, brothers and sisters, I've titled this video Testing Through through temptation. Keep your eyes open. Now, some of you, you all may be wondering why. Well, I think it, the title in itself is obvious. It's obvious because, brothers and sisters, we are in uh, what the Bible calls uh, an hour of temptation. Now, Brother Steve did a video a while ago, and I titled it uh, The Hour of Decision. Uh, the Hour of Decision uh, for this particular video will tie into that previous video. I titled it once again, The Hour of Decision. For those that have not seen that video, I encourage you to please go take a look. I have the video link in the description section, okay? Now, once again, uh, The Hour of Temptation uh, the hour of decision. Uh, both these messages will be the same, but I'm going to focus on the temptation aspect, if you will, for this particular brother who reached out to me and other brothers and sisters uh, who are uh, still uh, still dealing and battling uh, with the flesh and the desires. Okay, it, it's the desires and the lust of the mind, uh, the, the desires and lust of the flesh. See, brothers and sisters, we have to understand that Satan, Lucifer, he is an accuser. Okay, and just keep in mind when he was tossed out with one third of the fallen angels, a lot of times. Some, well, I won't say a lot of times, but there are those out there who, who think that uh, Satan does not have access uh, to the most high, a uh, higher. Uh, he still does have access to the heavens to where he can uh, uh, accuse us. Remember, he's, he's the accuser of the brethren, right? So keep in mind here, uh, you know, Satan has the ability to to metamorphosize into many different shapes. Let's go to scripture right now. And one of the, the concerns for this brother was Satan, right? Uh, does he have access to the most high? Does he still have the ability to go into the heavens, into the realms and accuse? Uh, 
Well, scripture is very, very clear. So what I like to do is I like to bring out scripture to uh, to uh, prove uh, what I'm saying uh, this evening to this brother and many others. So brothers and sisters, if you like, you, uh, you can follow me. Uh, be before I proceed, we're going to be using the King James Version Bibles uh, as we do. And uh, if you can, please open up to uh, Job chapter 2, uh, 1 through 6. Job chapter 2, verse 1 through 6. All right. Once again, that would be Job chapter 2, verse 1 through 6. And it states, again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came along also among them to present himself before the Lord. So brothers and sisters, as you see, it states here, verse 1, Satan is presenting himself to the Most High. So the fact that he's presenting himself to the Most High basically is saying that, hey, he still has access. That's what scripture states. Satan came along among them to present himself before the Lord. And in order to present yourself, you have to be in a physical presence. So by Satan presenting himself to the Most High, he still had what? Access. Access. See? Let me continue. Verse 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? Where are you coming from, Satan? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, or Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feared the Most High God, and extueth evil? He avoids evil, loyal, loyal to the Most High, extueth evil and still he holdeth fast his integrity although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause so Satan is accusing Job and in order to accuse Job Satan would have to have what? Access to the most high. See? Understand. Satan, once known as Lucifer, was a celestial being. See? And that celestial being was kicked out of the celestial realm under the terrestrial, the physical plane, the spirit. So that spirit in the spirit Spirit realm still has access to what? A celestial spirit realm. Access. All right, let me continue. Verse 3. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give his life. But put forth thy hand now and touch his bone and flesh. And he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thy hand. 
but save his life. So that was the agreement. The Most High permitted the affliction through access. And through the access of affliction, he was allowed to test the loyalty in Job. So the Most High willed it. So the wager was on. So brother, this is a perfect example of a spirit having access, being Satan, to a celestial realm. You have the Most High or higher, and you have what? Satan or Lucifer. Access. Fallen angel, the Most High, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, speaking in the heavenly realm, in a celestial spiritual state. That means what? Access. So, brother, I wanted to use this here to show you the dynamics and how that works. Okay? Now, testing through temptation. Keep your eyes open, right? Why? Well, I think it's very, very simple. Brothers and sisters in Scripture, in the book of 2 Peter chapter 2, it talks about the consequences the consequences of what? Perpetual sin, iniquity, and how iniquity, once delivered, if you're not careful in a season after you've come out of tribulation, sometimes we forget after a season of tribulation that it was the most highest grace that brought us out. He extracted us out. But before the extraction came, he allowed the testing and the tribulation to befall, befall you, us. So it was befailed upon us at that time. Now through faith, through perseverance and endurance, the Most High extracted you out, pulled you out, cleaned you up, made you, made you what? Whiter than snow. So let's see what happened. In a situation where one is tested through temptation and again, they're entangled with, right? Let's see. Brothers and sisters, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 20 through 22. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 20 through 22. Okay, brothers and sisters, and it states here, remember, testing through temptation, keep your eyes open, and it states, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Christ Jesus. Watch this, brothers and sisters. They are again entangled therein. Now see, these are those after their what? They were made whiter than snow. They were brought out of tribulation through the grace of the Most High and His mercy. But what happens? A soul or individual that battles with testing, uh, 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 they get weak in the flesh. They're attacked. Fiery darts are coming. And then what? They're entangled back in the same mess as they were before. Let's see what scripture states. I'll start over. For if after, they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Christ Jesus. They are again entangled therein and overcome. Watch this. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. So brothers and sisters, 
When the Most High, through His grace and mercy, saves you out of a situation, saves you out of a gross sin, see, it is prudent upon you to continue to endure in the faith. See, what happens is, in a season of testing, because remember, Satan comes as an accuser, right? So just because you say born again don't mean what? You're not going to be attacked. Come on now. Satan is what? An accuser of the brethren. So the attacks and fiery darts will come, right? Thinking not strange, beloved, as though it's something happened, as though, as, as though it's something strange. Marvel not. Fiery darts. Second Peter's. See? Let me finish. Watch this. Verse 21. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Watch this, brothers and sisters. Verse 22. Here it go. But it's, it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. What proverb? This proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again. And the soul that was washed to her, wallowing in the mire. Wallowing in the mire, brothers and sisters. A dog returning to the vomit. So what happens? When the temptations come, brothers and sisters, remember, we are in prophetically a time called what? The hour of temptation. An hour of decision. So the testing will come continuously. And that thing will come upon you. Thinking not strange, brothers and sisters. Thinking not strange. When that thing starts to rise, you have an internal fire that just catalyzes it. It grows. The flesh starts to overwhelm, right? Spirit wars against the flesh. Flesh wars against the spirit. So who can withstand that without the blood of Christ? So what do you do? You put on what? Helmet, breastplate, shield. And in doing so, you have to understand that all temptation is a distraction. Because once after you've come out that thing, the knowledge and wisdom that you had previously, you now have what? Wisdom to apply and deal with that situation effectively. Brothers and sisters, the Most High promises that he'll provide a way out of temptation. Oh, you don't believe that, huh? Well, watch this. Check this out. Revelation. Uh, let me see here. Revelation chapter 9, verse 12. Here it goes. Revelation chapter 9, Revelation, I'm sorry, Revelation chapter 12, verse 9, and it states, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out, right? He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Watch this, verse 10. Pay attention to this, y'all. 
And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. The accuser of our brother is cast down. Which accused them before our God day and night. So here's another example. And it states here in Revelation. Satan, the devil, Lucifer, the accuser, accuser of the brethren. Day and night. So that means what? Once again, as I stated in a video earlier. Satan has access, right? Spiritual celestial beings dealing with the most high, creator of all, in a celestial space, but only for a short time. So it is a very important, brothers and sisters, that we be cognitively aware of the temptation. The testing, the testing will continue. Those who what? Endure, strive, they shall be saved. That's why it's predicated and important for us to continue in the word, continue implementing and applying the wisdom of the most high God in and through Christ. No man is an island unto himself without our Savior, our Deliverer, the Anointed One, the Healer, our Savior, Yashar, Christ Jesus. Now, when he gave up the ghost and sent it back to the Most High, he said it was finished. See, but even with that, temptation will come. The testing will continue. Watch this, verse 11. And they overcame him by the what? Blood of the lamb. Blood of the lamb. That is our Christ. That is the Christ. See? The blood defeats what? Temptation. Keep in mind, sometimes it's not the enemy tested you through temptation. Sometimes it's what? The most high allowing a situation facilitated by Satan, just like Job. Because he knows that you're going to come out on top. He knows that you're going to remain faithful. Remember, the Most High knew you in your mother's womb. So all of his sons and daughters are marked already. Sometimes we have to be reminded. And the Most High said in his word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And that's his promise. So if the Most High said it, and that was his promise, he said, I would never leave you nor forsake you. You just heard it right here. Through the blood of what? His son, Yeshua Christ Jesus. The blood of the Lamb. And brothers and sisters, that's what has to be applied. Day in and day out. And it's a fight. It's a battle, but we must continue to strive and to endure. Every man must seek out his or her own salvation with fear and trembling. So brothers and sisters, it's continual work. And I told y'all before, it ain't no spirit of condemnation for those in Christ, but there's work. There's work. Don't be like that dog going back to its own vomit. 
Don't be like that soul wallowing in the mire. Filthy. Entangled back in the same mess. When you go through your tribulations, when you fall, learn. Knowledge, experience brings what? Wisdom. And it's only the wisdom of the Most High and the reverence and fear of the Most High that you're what? Come up on top. But you must continue to walk, endure, and strive. Okay? Testing through temptation, brothers and sisters. Testing through temptation. Continue to keep your eyes open. Stay girded up. Okay? All right. Well, brothers and sisters, I want to thank you, uh, every single one of you, for another opportunity uh, to minister, pastor, and edify, and build. And brother, I hope this video helps you out somewhat. I encourage you to, to uh, research, study, and continue to strive. Well, brothers and sisters, y'all know what time it is. Um, may the Most High God, Ahayabashim Shaiba Wawa Kadesh in Christ, cover you around you a wall of fire. May the spirit of peace go ahead of you as you travel to and fro in this earth. Brothers and sisters, thank you for another opportunity. Brother Steve, I love y'all. Shalom. Bless you. And I'm out. Peace. Y'all stay up. Have a good night.